Hello everybody and welcome back on my channel. My name is Alex and today we'll make this exercise in SOLIDWORKS and we'll use sheet metal to make it and we'll be following these dimensions. So let's begin. Okay, so first let's open a new part. Nice, let's make here plain white so we can see it better. And then we'll open a sketch in the let's open a sketch in the top plane. And here we'll start with a rectangle, center rectangle, just like this. And now it's more dimension, let's define this. And the dimensions will be here will be 100 millimeters. And here will be 60 millimeters. Perfect. And now we'll go to sheet metal. If you don't have here sheet metal, right click on one of these and we'll have to select it from here. So go to tabs and select it from here. And then we'll go to sheet metal and we'll use base flange. And here the thickness will be 5 millimeters. And press it OK. Nice. And now we have the base. And now we'll use edge flange command to make to make this part and this part. And the the angle here will be 10, but uh, we'll make it 5 because we'll use this one from the inside. The not the angle, the radius. Okay, so after you open edge flange command, we'll have to select this edge and drag it up or down. Will be the same. Click once and then we'll go here. We'll uncheck this one. Use default radius, and we'll use our own radius. The radius will use it five millimeters. Five will be this one from inside, and this one from outside will be ten. And now we'll have to. Here we'll keep 90 degrees, here we'll keep blind, and here the dimension will be 75.3 millimeters. Okay, and here we'll have to select the first one. This means that this dimension, 75.3 millimeters, will start from this face until this face up here. Okay, and now we'll have to select here the position for this flange will select this one also the first one material inside and press it ok this is the first flange and let's make the second one we'll make it in the same way so edit flange we'll select this edge we'll drag it up click once and then we'll have to uncheck here and put our radius which is 5 90 degrees here will be the same 75.3 perfect and here these two should be selected press ok and now as we can see here the, dimens the dimension from this phase until that other phase should be 60 millimeters so let's check it if it's correct to check the dimensions you have to go to evaluate and here we'll select measure and we'll select this face with this one and here we can see the distance it's 60 millimeters which is good and now let's see the radius so we said that this radius should be 5 the radius is 5 and this one should be 10 according to the drawing so it's 10 which means everything is good and we can close this and let's go back to sheet metal. Now we have to cut the shape of this part. So we'll have to cut like this, make here a hole and this cut here. And then we'll have to make these two holes and this cut at the end. And to apply some fillets if we're not gonna use the fillets in the sketch. So let's do it. First we'll have to open a sketch on this face. 
Okay, and here we start with a circle. So let's make a circle just like this, and then with smart dimension, let's give here a dimension. The radius on the drawing is 20 millimeters, and we'll use here the diameter, which will be 40 millimeters. And then from this point to this edge, here will be 55.3. 55.3. And now let's select this point with this one and select here make vertical. Perfect. And now we'll select line and let's start from this circle. And uh, let's make these lines just like this. And back to this circle. And now select this line with this circle and select here make tangent. And here is a red tangent. And now we'll select these two lines. We'll select here make equal. And now select this line with this one. Select here make colliner. Do the same with this one. Okay, and now with smart dimension, let's give an angle between these two lines. And the angle should be 53 degrees. 53. Perfect, and now let's give here a dimension also. This is not on the, on the drawing, but we'll give one just to be there 10 millimeters just to make this line black to fully define it. Okay, and now let's select circle again and let's make here another circle. This one will have the diameter 16 millimeters, so 16. And now we have to, we can make this sketch also in this sketch. But if you don't want to, if you don't want to make this sketch to be too full of dimensions and lines, you can first uh, cut this part and then you'll make another sketch to use extra cut again for this other part for this cut here so you can make it how it's easier for you but I'm gonna make it in the same sketch and I'm just gonna move this one a little bit up and now we'll select line if you'll make it in this sketch and make these three lines like this and this one back to this circle and now select this point and this circle select here Coincide, make these two lines equal, and now we select the midpoint from this line with this center point and select here make vertical. Okay, and now we'll have to select this line with this one and select here make parallel. Nice, and now with smart dimension, let's define them. So, first from this line to this one, here will be 15 millimeters. Okay, from this one to this one. Here will be 10. And now we'll use Trementis command to cut these parts of the circle. Nice. So if you decide to make this sketch in another sketch, say like this, you'll have to make this, this arc and these three lines with these dimensions. 15 from this age and 10 from this age and the radius for this arc will be 20 millimeters if you're gonna use the radius or 40 millimeters if you are using the diameter nice and now let's go to features actually we can go to sheet metal and use extruded cut and here instead of blind we can select true all and press here ok This is how it should look. And I'll have to apply some fillets here and on this other side. But the fillets we're gonna make at the end. First, let's make another cut here. So we'll open a sketch on this face. And here we'll start with the center rectangle. Okay, and then a center line. Like this, and then we can make a circle on this side, select this circle, this center line, 
and select here mirror entities command and we should have two circles now. Let's define them. So with smart dimension we'll give a dimension between these two circles and here will be 75 millimeters and the diameter will be 10 from this point to this edge so from this point to this edge here should be 30 millimeters press ok and now this side will have 30 millimeters and this side will have 25 this is perfect and now go to features actually go to sheet metal and use from here extruded cut and we can keep here 10 or go instead of blind select up to next press ok and this is almost done all we have to do now is to make some fillets we can see we can see here the radius for this and uh, we don't see here any any radius so we're gonna use the same radius as this one select fillet go to features first and select fillet and the radius we said that we're gonna use it five and now we have to select this edge and we can select from here okay so just a second select this edge not the face so we'll select the edge and to make it faster we'll select this one and we automatically will be selected the other three edges and we'll have to do the same on this side so we'll select this one and you should have here 8 by now and then we'll select this one on the rectangle this edge and here we select the first one and now you should have 12 so 4 from this side 4 from this side and 4 from this side all with the same radius press ok and now this is it let's see how it's looking when we'll flat, flat, flatten it so go to sheet metal and select this command here flatten and this is how we'll look okay and this is the part for today thank you for watching and if you like it you can leave a like you can subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this and you can leave a comment with your opinion or if you have if you have anything to tell me or if i did something wrong thank you and i hope to see you next time